What is up guys? So in this video, I will be going over who I think will be the main villains of the next seasons of the Arrowverse, those seasons being Arrow Season 8, which will be the final season of the show, and will not only consist of just 10 episodes, but the last episode will be one of the first parts of the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, then there's also the Flash Season 6, Season 5 of both Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl, as well as Batwoman Season 1. These guesses of who I think the main villains will be will either be based off just evidence we know about the next season, hints we got from the previous season, specifically the cliffhanger of the season finale, or just confirmation we know. And, and there are no 100% guesses in this video, they're all based off one or two things we know about the next season. There are some that are a little bit more far-fetched than others, and there are more, some that are a lot more obvious than others, but in this video I will try to make the, what I think will actually happen in the next season, and I'll talk about who will be the main villain in those seasons. With that in mind, let's begin with Arrow Season 8. The finale of Arrow Season 7 killed Amika Queen and introduced an unnamed new female leader of the Night Circle out of nowhere. This character doesn't have a name and there isn't really any equivalent or corresponding character from the comics that I think she can be, but honestly, I don't really think it matters. I think that the Night Circle and whoever this woman is will be the villains of Season 8 for the majority of the season, filling up the episodes that are in Crisis on Infinite Earths and just being there for the conflict with Team Arrow and just being there for villains that Team Arrow has to deal with. Because of that, they will not be the actual main villains, and I'm 100% certain that they won't be the main villains, because they will, without a doubt, be fully defeated before the finale, possibly even in the third to last episode, maybe to give some wiggle room between the Ninth Circle conflict and the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, because the finale of Arrow Season 8 will act as one of the first three parts of that crossover, and the Ninth Circle 100% does not have any place in that crossover whatsoever, making the Anti-Monitor the actual main villain of Season 8, as he will be the main villain of Crisis, and almost definitely will be the main villain of the Arrow part of the crossover. I say almost definitely because the last crossover kind of had a different villain every episode, or at least the first episode, the main villain was the uh, Amazo, and then episode 2 and 3 was kind of John Deegan with the Monitor being kind of an antagonist as well, but I think that the Anti-Monitor will probably be the main villain of this episode, which is pretty awesome because this means that the Anti-Monitor will make it into the main villains list and since he's gonna probably kind of be the main villain of the entire Arrowverse and this is what the Arrowverse has been leading up to, he's essentially the Thanos of the Arrowverse, it's pretty awesome that he will be getting into the main villains ranked list because he is going to be kind of the main villain of Arrow Season 8. Supergirl Season 4's finale introduced a lot of villains, first of which is Martian Manhunter's brother and arch nemesis Ma'al Effect, who was freed from some sort of Martian prison by the Monitor. The fact that he's a Martian Manhunter villain and wouldn't have a personal conflict with the actual main character of this show at all, on top of the fact that he looks to have some sort of connection to the Crisis because he was freed by the Monitor, means that he will definitely not be the main villain at all. Lex Luthor was similarly affected by the Monitor as it seemed like Lex was brought Back to life after the Lena shot him and he was either about to die or did die and the monitor showed up and interfered I think just to keep the uh, the continuity of it all he was about to die but didn't and the monitor, he monitor healed him because it was established in the past that either the monitor can't bring someone back to life or he refuses to because that interferes with the balance of the multiverse or he refuses to save someone I don't really know how he did it here with Lex Luthor but I don't think it regardless I don't think where Lex Luthor will be the main villain of the season because he seems to be have some, he seems to have some role in the crisis, which is very exciting because he's an awesome character, I want to see more of him, especially interacting with a lot of other characters in the Arrowverse, especially if Superman appears in that crossover as well, that would be awesome, but I don't think he's going to be the main villain, and I think that his sister actually might. The finale set Lena up to be a villain after she learned that Kara is Supergirl and that she's been lying to her the whole time and some other things, I think that she is actually going to end up being a villain and team up with the villainous organization that was teased in the finale, Leviathan. In the comics, there is a villainous organization called Leviathan, who are Batman villains led by Talia al Ghul, and they created a uh, much older version of Damian Wayne, like a clone who ended up actually killing the real Damian Wayne. Anyway, that's kind of irrelevant because this Leviathan probably won't have anything to do with the Batman villains because Talia and Damian and the rest of Leviathan in general have absolutely nothing to do with Supergirl or that in an entire surrounding area, which means that Lena Luthor and in our original 
original villain organization called Leviathan, who has the same name as both a villainous organization in the comics and the robot that we saw in Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, will probably be the main villains of Supergirl Season 5, unless they do the same thing they did last season where they set up both uh, the Red Daughter to be the main villain, and then they announced that Agent Liberty will be the main villain, and then it turns out that Lex Luthor is the main villain, they might do something different, which I wouldn't be, be I wouldn't be against because the Leviathan, they just don't seem like they're going to be interesting villains, especially compared to Lex Luthor and kind of also Rain in Supergirl Season 3. Now, keep this in mind, for Legend of Tomorrow Season 5, I honestly have no idea who the main villain will be, and this is just a wish list, because I have no idea and there's no real other option that I can think of, I think that the main villain of the Legend of Tomorrow Season 5 should 100% be Black Adam, I said the same thing about Legend of Tomorrow Season 4, and I was wrong, and I don't necessarily think that Black Adam will be the villain of Legend of Tomorrow Season 5, in fact, I have, I'm like 98% sure he won't be, but this is what I want to see, and what of the reason would they do this? This whole thing, this whole storyline with Zari, where she is erased from existence, and now she is, uh, she still exists, but not as we know her, and now it's 100% viable to have her be the wife of Black Adam in, like, 2025 or something, or whatever, she's from 2021, I don't really 100% remember, in 2030 or something, it doesn't really matter, now she has a completely different life, she can be the wife to Black Adam, and they can bring in Black Adam as the main villain, I don't know how that fits into the historical villains returning to the world, but honestly, I don't care, I have wanted to see Black Adam on the show ever since his wife if Zari debuted on this show, and this would be the perfect time as Zari is seemingly a part of the main storyline going into season 5. Now, I don't see this happening, honestly, because first of all, the Black Adam character is 100% being saved for the movies, his own movie, and probably the main villain of Shazam, maybe not 2, but probably 3 if, he, if that actually happens. On top of that, they cannot really afford Black Adam's powers on the show. I mean, the show kind of looks pretty crappy in its superpowers, and they barely use their superpowers, and Black Adam has some superpowers like flight and electricity powers that I don't really think they can afford. On top of that, he is a Shazam villain, and it doesn't look like Shazam or Captain Marvel will ever be appearing in not only this show, but the entire universe. So while I don't think this is likely at all, I really can't think of any other character or villain who should be the main villain of the season, and I am pretty sure it's going to be just an original character or just a very, very obscure villain, and I would not have been able to guess. So for Legends of Tomorrow, unlike the rest of this video, this is really just a wish list, and I mean, it's a little bit of evidence because of the Zari thing and her storyline, but I don't really think that will lead to Black Adam, it's just what I want. I think that The Flash won't actually have a main villain until after the Crisis crossover in Season 6. Team Flash will most likely just deal with either Villains of the Week or maybe a secondary main villain in a 7 or 8 episode long storyline similar to the prison storyline, not in the fact that they're going to go to prison, but in the fact that it's a contained storyline that is only 7 or 8 episodes long in our Season 7 and now in probably or possibly The Flash Season 6, which I would prefer, but I think that Villains of the Week are a little bit more likely than a secondary main villain for these episodes. I think that the actual main villain of the season can't really become a villain until after the crossover, and I think they will be a direct result of the aftermath of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Barry is supposed to disappear in this uh, crisis, but I think that because it changed from 2024 to 2019, Barry was replaced by Oliver in the disappearance in the end of this crossover, which means that going into the rest of the season, Barry will be okay. I don't think they could have 12 episodes without Barry, and if he does, does disappear, they cannot bring him back in that season because that will completely get rid of the the importance of the crossover. So I think that Barry will be okay going into the rest of the season, and I think that the main villain will be a direct creation of the crisis on If and Earth Aftermath. I think that in the end, the entire multiverse will combine into one universe, just like the comic did, and that will result in the creation of the Red Death, who was teased in the previous season. The Red Death would have the same design, obviously, because it's awesome, and a similar backstory, but I doubt they would use the Dark Multiverse concept, because it's a little bit too much in this show, and although they might do it, I highly doubt it. Instead, the combination of the cross of the entire multiverse created some sort of abomination, which is the Red Death, uh, basically a combination of a couple different characters that is different from the comics, but they cannot do the same thing in the comics, because in the comics, he is an alternate version of
of Bruce Wayne, and not only can they not use Bruce Wayne, they shouldn't because he has no, he's never met Barry Allen. Barry Allen has never met Batman, so the dynamic just wouldn't be as interesting, but there has been a theory going around ever since he was teased uh, earlier in this, in the Flash Season 5, that Bruce would be replaced by an, a dark alternate version of Oliver, which I would not be adverse to, and that definitely would work for this universe, but honestly, I think they should probably just go with either an original character, or maybe some other character that I'm just not thinking of. Regardless, they mentioned him in the last season, he looks awesome, they haven't used a speedster main villain since season 3, and the crisis would be the perfect time to create the Red Death. I'm only mentioning Batwoman here because it is technically a part of the next seasons of the Arrowverse and it really wouldn't make any sense for me not to, but don't expect any videos on this show or further talking about the show outside of videos where I just talk about the entirety of the Arrowverse because other than maybe a review of the pilot, and I probably will watch the pilot, but if it's really bad, which it seems like it will be, I won't watch any more, but I might review it and that is it. But anyway, regardless of that, the villain of season 1 of Batwoman will be her sister Elizabeth Kane, aka Alice, who's seems to be the Joker to Batwoman's Batman. She seems like she's insane, but she has like some other, other connection to Batwoman as she is her sister. Again, don't really care at all. I'm just mentioning it here because I kind of have to. So with all of that in mind, who do you think should be the main villains of the next seasons of the Arrowverse? And if these are the, going to be the main villains, meaning the Anti-Monitor, the Red Death, Black Adam, Leviathan and Lena Luthor, as well as Alice for Batwoman, who do you think will be the best main villain? And who are you most excited for? For me personally, although I am most excited for the Anti-Monitor, he isn't really going to be the main villain of a season. He's going to be the main villain of the finale of that season, but I doubt he's going to be a main villain, really. I, I think that my actual most anticipated main villain, if these are all true, would be Black Adam, but they're probably not going to do him well if they do him, and again, they're probably not going to do him at all, so that just leaves the Red Death, who I'm actually very excited for, and will without a doubt appear on the show in the future, maybe not as the main villain of the season, maybe not in the season at all, but definitely in the future, and either way, I'm very excited for this character, and especially if he's going to be the main villain in the next season, which I think he 100% should be, but anyway, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.